So if you've watched in some of our other videos, we've been on the Kokosing, we've been on the Mohican. Today we're on the Wohanding. Wohanding's made up of where Kokosing and Mohican come together and make the Wohanding in Coshocton County. Wahonding has been called a bunch of different things over the years. Uh, predominantly, it's just kind of known as the West Branch of the Muskingum River. The entire Wahonding River is in the county of Coshocton in Ohio. There's also a process of tearing down the Six Mile Dam, which is a low head dam that's been a problem for uh, kayakers, other paddlers, as well as having some disruption in the native uh, aquatic species. What you see behind me is called the Six Mile Dam. It was originally built in the 1830s for the uh, mill race. There was a mill here that was active for about 100 years, give or take. Uh, but ODNR has determined that they eventually they want to take this dam out. Uh, they actually was proposed probably 10 or 15 years ago to remove the dam. I've actually uh, removed dams on the old end tangent. So what they'll do back here is they will, what they'll do, they'll breach it. And once they breach it, they'll let the water out slow so it won't be a, a, big, a big rush. It won't be a big wave of water that'll go down. They'll lower the water and then they'll slowly and carefully remove the debris. So that's what I've done on the whole tangent years ago. The dam that I removed was only three or four feet high. And once I got my crew working with the track excavator, dump truck, backhoe, moving the debris, I started hiking upstream. And so what is going to be amazing is that there are places up above us that have never seen the light of day. It's full of clams up there. And what I did on the old land tangent is I hiked upstream and picked up one clam after another and put it in the water. I found some big ones. And they are a protected species here in Ohio. And if something is not uh, uh, done to those when they break it down. I'm sure wildlife will have a contingency plan in place to, to manage that and deal with that. But what's going to happen is uh, we're going to remove what's to be about eight to ten feet of water. A lot of debris up there, a lot of uh, a lot of silt, and so they'll put a, have a management plan to take care of the silt as well. And that's why they'll want to release it very slowly because they don't want to push all the silt down river all at once. Well, then what will happen is that this will end up being a beautiful river to, uh, to pattern. There are rapids that will develop here that haven't seen rapids for over 150 years. And so I, we the river rangers, want to be the first, want to be the first to paddle down rapids on this river that have never ever seen rapids for over 150 years. And we will advertise and we'll let you know about that but it's going to be pretty amazing when it does happen. And so we'll keep you posted. Another thing that we plan on doing is we plan on keeping track of the removal of the dam. And so we'll report on, uh, on the removal of the dam on like a weekly basis or a couple times a month. That way keep you in the loop. And then eventually we'll organize a float for when the stream is ready to, uh, to be paddled. So we want to be the first ones to paddle uh, this river in 150 years and we want you to come with us to paddle this. 